Hello everybody, this is your produce guy, and today we're out on a field trip. We're here in beautiful, bountiful Utah at the Duncan Orchards, and the Duncans, they grow apples. Now they've been growing apples here on their property for over 50 years. In fact, Grandpa planted these trees about 60 years ago. That's uh, about 1950. So it's been a long time they've been producing apples here, and the people of Bountiful and surrounding communities have been enjoying them for all that time. These are great, fresh, locally grown fruits uh, in several varieties. And in fact, we're going to take a walk here into the orchard and see about picking a few just for ourselves. So let's go on over and take a look. All right, we're here in the Duncan Orchards and taking a look at their a golden delicious crop. Now they have several varieties that they grow here. Macintosh, Granny Smith, Red Delicious, and Rome Beauties, and several other varieties that they do produce here. Uh, it's toward the end of the season right now and the the last apples they have on the trees are their Golden Delicious. Now Golden Delicious are a wonderful eating apple, can be used in apple crisps, uh, they're not a firm apple that you would use in an apple pie. That would be more of a Granny Smith type apple or a Pippin apple. But Goldens are wonderful, wonderful eating. And especially these, as they turn color, uh, the reason they call them Golden Delicious, a lot of times in the stores you will see green Golden Delicious there. But they call them Golden Delicious because they're ripe when they turn a golden color. So anytime you see that on the stands of your local supermarket, you want to grab those because those are going to be great, sweet eating apples. But let's uh, let's take a look here. We're going to pull uh, grab a grab an apple right off the tree. This is uh, this is a golden delicious apple right here. Now apples you know grow at higher elevations or in more northern areas. The reason for that is that apple trees require a chill for that's the first item uh, so when they when they go dormant in the winter uh, they have to have a chill factor can't get too cold because then the trees will freeze um, and and will die but they do need a chill factor during their dormancy period in order to produce a great fruit the next year that's true for your peaches and a lot of your other fruits they've got to have a cool or cold winter so apples are one of those fruits now the other uh, thing is that as apples are ripening, they become sweeter after the first frost. The frost gets the tree to send sugar out into the fruit. Again, this is uh, with apples, of course. There's seeds inside here. This is all about reproduction uh, with, with fruit. Uh, the tree's looking to reproduce itself, so it sends energy out into these fruits, and uh, what, what you get is uh, delicious eating after the... Uh, after the frost that sugars them up. So let's take a close-up look at some of these apples. Okay, what you're seeing now is a beautifully ripe cluster of golden delicious apples. Hopefully you can see the, uh, the wonderful golden color that they achieve, a, a light yellow. Uh, that means they are ripe and full of sugar. Some of these apples that I've tasted here at the orchard are, are just the best apples I've ever eaten. So sweet, so good, and of course, they're coming right off the tree. What could be better than that? Hi there, we're back now at the Duncan household where they conduct the sales of their apples. These apples that uh, they're, they've got for sale here in the bushels behind me were all picked this morning, uh, fresh off the tree. And these Golden Delicious, in particular, they're the ones that I want to feature in this video because it's hard to find them in the grocery store. Uh, they usually come in much more green than what they're intended to be and when they're ready to be eaten. So if you can find a delicious, uh, golden delicious apple with the uh, yellow, a little bit of pink blush on them, that's what you want to look for. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of these. We'll take them back to the kitchen and uh, show you up close what they look like. We're back now from our little field trip to the Duncan Orchards down in Bountiful, Utah. And I've taken just a minute and cut up some of these golden delicious apples that I brought home. I picked up half a bushel today. That's roughly 8 to 10 pounds of apples that I brought home. And, of course, the goldens are the uh, eating apple that I brought home. I also brought home some of these Granny Smith apples. And Granny Smiths are a little firmer and a little 
a tart, more tart apple that made great pie apples. And I actually brought home quite a few of those Granny Smith and we're going to uh, feature those in another video. I also picked up a red delicious apple that was hanging on the tree. Last one, I think. They'd finished their harvest of red delicious. Uh, had kind of a, apples have a beautiful natural shine to them, but this one had kind of a, a cloudy gray uh, surface to it when I picked it off. And I took some t-shirt material, well, actually my t-shirt, and buffed it out and you get this beautiful shine on, on an apple. Uh, and just about all of them will buff up just with a, a little rubbing. They'll, they'll have a nice gloss on them and it makes them very appealing to the eye. Now, after our time in the orchard, I was speaking with Verlin Duncan. His father is the one who began the planting of trees there in the Duncan orchards. Uh, he was telling me that their apple trees produce typically for about 25 years, at which time they'll have to be removed and new trees uh, are planted. And they're planting new trees all the time down there in the orchards. They also, I think I mentioned that they had four acres of property. They really have uh, over seven acres of property. And a good portion of that, about half of it, is planted in peach trees. So they have a great peach harvest during the summer. Now their apples, they have, I think it is, a dozen different varieties of apples that they cultivate down there. What that allows them to do, those apples mature at different times of the year. And so they'll begin their apple harvest about the last week of July with some of the earliest apples coming off. And weather permitting, meaning no hard freeze or anything, uh, they'll harvest through the end of October, which is where we are now, and they have about four varieties left, and uh, three different varieties of golden delicious apples that they're harvesting right now. Now, if you would like more information about uh, the Duncan Orchards, you can go to their blog uh, on the internet, and that can be found at www.duncan.org. Duncan Orchards, that's D-U-N-C-A-N, DuncanOrchards.blogspot.com. And there you can find out information about the varieties they grow. And during the harvest season, they, they update the blog daily, telling you what's going to be available there. One of the wonderful things about the, their family farm is these apples are all picked by hand. Uh, Verlin said he and a helper go out in the orchard in the morning and by mid to late morning they're able to pick enough bushels to satisfy the demands that they'll have later that day at their roadside stand. So these are all fresh picked. Now like the, the Duncan Orchards in Bountiful, Utah, wherever you live you're going to have some sort of local agriculture that will be available to you. Whether it comes in the form of a farmer's market in the city where the farmers pick fresh and bring into uh, the local farmers market or a situation like the Duncan Orchards where they're right in the middle of town the town has grown up around them, there's a school right nearby their orchard and, and houses right next door to the trees uh, so the town's grown up around them but they continue to grow um, and harvest produce right there for the community. Uh, Bountiful Utah has been eating Duncan, and Duncan Orchard fruit for over 50 years. But the, the point is that wherever you are, you'll be able to find the same type of thing. It may not be apples, but whatever's grown in your area, you can find those and get them fresh and usually get them better than what you're going to find in the grocery store because they can be harvested uh, at a more ripe stage, more mature stage than if they're going across country to the grocery store. And that uh, tree ripening or that vine ripening that you can get from local produce uh, just makes it the best. So thanks for watching today. We appreciate your viewership. I uh, want to let you know that you can now follow us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash your produce guy. And of course please subscribe by hitting the button down below and we love your comments. Please leave a comment there on the page. Thank you so much for being with us today and as always fresh is absolutely best.